Welcome to my new video. If you are a fan of opera and a fan of a heavy German accent, then you will love it here. Today I want to talk about Princess Eboli and Don Carlo, Verdi's Don Carlo. I want to begin with talking a bit Don Carlo first. Verdi's Don Carlo is an astonishing, amazing opera. And, by the way, it's the opera that made me fall in love with opera. At the end of this video, I will tell you which recording it was that got me hooked to opera. In my opinion, still the best recording on the market. But this isn't about me, it's about Don Carlo. Premiered in 1867 in Paris, in French, with five acts plus ballet, it lasts over four hours of music. Princess Eboli is the most fascinating character in this opera. Her love for Don Carlo and jealousy of Queen Elizabeth lead to crucial events and deadly consequences. She betrays secrets, loves one man, betrays another, and allies with a third. Causing trouble for everyone. Who couldn't relate to that? And her music, her veil song, breathtaking. The trio with Posa and Carlo even more breathtaking her. And finally, Oh, Don Fatale. Oh, I shouldn't sing. Oh, I apologize. But now, it's time to watch two video clips. A big showdown between two great opera singers. One is Russian, the other one American. Both performing this aria, Oh, Don Fatale, in a time before the Iron Curtain came down at the height of the Cold War. On the Russian side, you will hear Elena Abraschova performing this aria, oh, Don Fatale, live in a concert in Tokyo in, I think, 1980. As you will see, or better hear, her chest voice is not from this world. On the American side, the wonderful Shirley Verrett, an elegant and beautiful singer. Like Abraschova, she was a force of nature as well, with a great range and an unbeatable sense for emotion and drama. The stage is set. Here we go. We start with Elena Abraschova, followed and intersected with Shirley Verrett. Here we go. That's the chest voice I was talking about. Oh my god. And her voice is so specific that just after hearing her sing for a few seconds, you can say, oh yeah, that's Avrastrova. Whew, very impressive. <laughs> Okay, also in the higher notes, as I said, a force of nature. Now, Shirley Verrett with the same scene. Let's see. <laughs> Her chest voice is not bad at all either. And like Abrastrova, and I think with all great singers, her voice is unique. It's, I think, more elegant, more warm than Abrastrova's, but of course, immediately, immediately you realize, oh yeah, that's Verit. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so far both ladies, oh my god, so much power, so much power in her, their voices, oh, unbelievable. What's going on here? She's so fast. She's racing through these phrases. I mean, she's so, she's like, she's like under the influence of a demon, so to say. The demon of her guilt, of course, and the remorse. But what a high speed chase this is. Fantastic. Now, Shirley Verrett with the same. <laughs> completely different approach, right? She's much slower and it's always dangerous if the tempo is too low that it's schlepping or lack of intensity. Oh no, but not here, not here. Uh, her decision to take it slower is really paying off. She is, she is able to, to fill those phrases with deep emotion. Now again Abrastova and now comes the quiet slow silent part where she expresses her remorse, her feeling of guilt and uh, shame. And let's see how Obrashova does that. Is she as fast as before? Mm. This combination is really astonishing. She, she has such a wonderful legato in those sad moments. And at the same time, she has such a pang in her voice. It's, uh, it penetrates even Fort Knox, probably. Well, that's something. That's really something. I mean, it's so tender and sad and filled with true emotions. Ah, wonderful. And now Verit with the same moment and I expect great things from her. <laughs>
that's so touching, isn't it? I mean, uh, the sound she produces, it's so breathing. It's more like she's thinking than singing. And through the magic of opera, we still can hear. And now back to Abrasova, and now we are almost close to the final moment. What we see now is leading up to this final moment of the aria. It's getting more and more dramatic. Prashova, you have the feeling there's always more she can give, always more power, always more stamina. I'm not so happy with her phrasing of the last two phrases. She combines them, she makes a portamento and uh, I'm not happy with that. But it's personal taste, who cares what I think, it's fantastic. But let's see what Shirley Verit does here. it a tiny bit better than Abrastova. The, the breathing, the, uh, this do, before, right before the Dovro Celar. I don't know, it comes more natural to me, but taste. And now, the great finale. They try to save Carlo. What a powerhouse she is. She's like a nuclear power plant. Fantastic. She gives everything and her face, her face at the end, it's Eboli, of course, but it's very much also Abrastova who is so relieved and happy that she managed to sing this difficult aria 
this evening in this concert so brilliantly and the applause is well deserved. Now, Shirley Very. <laughs> I have to interrupt again. Ah, that dr it's so dramatic what she does. Uh, Hundi mi resta la speme marie. Fantastic the way she's biting into the syllables. <laughs> It's so touching to me, it's so impressive, it's so moving. I think that's, that's oh, amazing, I, I don't know what to say. All right, there you have it. Which version did you prefer? It's of course difficult to say and ultimately a matter of personal taste. Abrasova interprets Eboli more urgently, almost rushed and raw, while Verit sings more introspectively, more for herself than for the audience. Either way, both singers are fantastic and undoubtedly among the best Ebolis of the 20th century. But now, let's go to what I promised at the beginning, namely what I believe is the best recording of this opera. This is it. Carlo Maria Giulini conducts and it features the young Domingo as the not very heroic title hero as Elizabeth Montserrat Caballé with her wonderful pianissimi, Cheryl Mills as Posa with his organ-like voice, Shirley Verrett, whom we just heard, delivering a moving Eboli and Ruggiero Raimondi as Philip II. Five acts in Italian. I don't think it gets any better. If if you have a different opinion, let me know in the comments. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Ciao.